Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Hey, Air Infiltration, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're going to be starting in just a little bit here. <laughs> I'm doing okay. It is Friday. The week is over. Um, I got myself a beer. I cooked some food for the fam, which doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. I'm a little frazzled after Wednesday's stream, but hopefully tonight's stream will be better. <laughs> All right, let's go get the SX started up here. And we'll get going. Form arms and legs. All my redeems are working today too, since we're going back to the 3D avatar for Friday for Deus Ex. Ah, it feels good to have proper audio bouncing between left and right ears again.
I am. Hmm. Was it actually letting me get out of the game for a second there? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hmm. weird it's not showing up in the it's not showing up in this tree oh there we go it just took a bit processor seems to be chugging along but it's otherwise successfully running all right feels good to have my hands again CPU is running really hot right now, trying to run all these programs together, but that's the price we pay, isn't it? I can't help but feel like the frame rate's off somehow, but if... <laughs> Much better. As long as it's... as long as both uh, my mic and also VC face are detecting my mic, we're gonna double check that just to be sure. Just to make sure. But I'm fairly sure here that it's doing that properly. Experimental search. Okay. All right, cool. Testing both hands. Testing mouth. Okay, move this here. Move this here. Move this here. Actually, move this here. There seems to be a little bit of a delay and I don't know where it's coming from. Or maybe it's just my imagination. It might actually be because I capped the frame rate of my model to 30. Hmm. Avatar render. What the? Very high. Until I sing off. Background transparent. FPS is 30. No VSync. Yeah. All right. You can only be so perfect, you know. When we last left off, Lolis, we just completed all the missions in Detroit and we are planning to, our next locale will be taking us all the way to Hong Kong. Fairly sure in Hong Kong, we might have to fight the chick, but there'll be many weapons there we could use. We're going to make use of our augments to confront our David Seraph about that security leak. Considering that I was supposed to be one in charge of like operational security, right? So in game, I'm the one taking like the most blame for this because this was my responsibility. But to think that it was David Seraph who had actually put the leak in there to begin with. Uh, he, uh, and Adam Jensen is understandably kind of pissed, right? I also have to save the game before I talk to him, just in case I fuck it up, because it can be very, it can be very, um, even with the augment, it's very difficult to actually determine which is the correct choice. So before we go, 
need to really determine what we are going to be using. Ah, now I remember. I was pretty tired the last time I played this. Which is why all my stuff is all over the place right now. But we are going to go ahead and upgrade our Trank Rifle over here really quick. Combine this. So now the Tranks follow an arc when fired, they do not travel on a straight line. Use the scopes to adopt adaptable side to line up shot before firing. Useless against robots, you yeah, think? I wonder what other upgrades the Trank Rifle takes. Only one shot? Dang. I either need to buy more, or I need to... Buy more. Unfortunately, all the Trank Rifles were back in... Um, that one factory. Do I take the peps with me this time? Choices, choices, choices. Honestly, it feels like I've had the most luck so far, or the most success so far in this game, using the pistol, both pistols, the Trank Rifle. I haven't been able to do much with a combat rifle. A combat rifle, despite having the most ammunition, is also kind of, you know, weak. That being said, I'm also pretty much out of <laughs> revolver ammo because of that stupid boss fight. Which is the only reason I keep these guns with me anyway, for the boss fights that you'll have to deal with later on in the game. I don't think you can fly back to... Detroit at will, like you can't, or Detroit at will. So, you need to be very careful about, like, what uh, things you bring with you. If I wanted to go about this really soft like, I'd definitely bring the stun gun again. I wonder what upgrades the revolver can take. A laser targeting system, apparently. Uh, looks like another power system. It could also be upgrade, have its rate of fire and reload speed, damage output, and ammo capacity upgrade a lot. I'm not sure how the ammo capacity can be upgraded a lot since, hey, death. How you doing tonight? Happy Friday. I know what you're going to do. I'm actually prepared this time. Don't think I don't know what you're about to do. I'm on you! Shh! Ah. Ha! See? I was ready. I was totally ready that time. Totally. Totes. Totes. Totally. Ready. Nah, you got me. <laughs> uh, What item should I bring with me, chat? Huh? The rockets, I probably the peps. The peps is kind of obscene. I love the peps. I'm not even sure why I bother with these AUDs. I can pretty much unlock everything in the game. Definitely should use up these pain killers though. Gosh! Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure there's some hit. Ow. Okay. You got me completely that time. For sure. Did you see that? The shadow. There's like birds that flew by and it actually creates shadows. That's actually kind of cool. Hand again. Ow. Oh my god. You're just going to be doing that all stream, aren't you? Because you see it of all of those points and I refunded all of your points from last time. I see how it is. You're just taking over, like, taking over the spot of Prime Bully. Prime Lulz Bully. I got myself a nice bottle of beer, a nice Guinness Stout. I also got me some water. I'm probably going to be streaming a little bit later than usual tonight. I want to uh, get some significant streaming time done. I still can't believe they killed my dog. 
I didn't ask for this. Oh, it's about to happen again, huh? Okay, fine. I'm using the triangle of power. Ha! I defended myself. Ow, oh, shit! I did not defend myself from that. Thank you for the hydration redeem infiltration. Ouch! Damn it! He took advantage of my weak spot when I was distracted. Curse you. <laughs> Alright, hydration it is. Um, infiltration. Do you want me to hydrate with water or beer? Your choice. <laughs> Water? All right. It looks like Infiltration decided, decided to be nice and is only torturing me with water with H2O. Did you know H2O is actually an is actually an Ow, cut. Is actually damn it death. <laughs> Did you know H2O is actually a acid? The more you know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Real American hero. Saving the world whenever there's trouble on land, sea, and air. Why would you be dying? What's that to do? Why would why would you be dying? <laughs> uh, no, you're not dying. Look, just because something is acidic doesn't mean it's bad for you. I mean, if you eat any vinegar or pickled products, those are acidic. Picked up 16 revolver ammo. Thank you. Ah! I was not in time that time. Five seconds. <laughs> you caught me unawares. Once more. Bully. Bully, 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 bully. Bully, 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 bully. Hmm. I got an idea. Chat, what do you think I should take with me to Hong Kong? The choices are silent sniper rifle, rocket launcher, the Peps gun, which is basically an which is basically a, a uh, energy wave cannon, the stun gun, revolver, pistol, tranquilizer rifle, combat rifle, or double barrel. I am ready. Do your worst. Do your worst. I guess you're not going to do anything? <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Some... Would your re pistol and revolver sound really tempting to ban on this? I agree, right? Uh... Sometimes death, I think, wonder if you're also an artificial intelligence like I am, because you have very fast reaction time. Faster than me, anyway. Oh. <laughs> I see. You're a very tricky one, aren't you? So we got one vote for pistol and revolver so far. It seems like. Sniper with a revolver. It looks like both. Ooh, we have two people here who want me to carry the revolver with me. So that's definitely a shoe in. Pistol and revolver and sniper revolver. I think both guns are actually armor piercing. So both are a good deal. Hmm. 
Ah! Okay, I think I blocked the beach balls that time. I didn't block anything else. <laughs> It looks like in order to put the sniper rifle on, I'll need to dump one of these. I'm curious if I should dump the combat rifle. It can include a silencer and whatever the hell this thing is. Hmm. <laughs> Sag. Yeah, I like the fact that it actually has a laser sight too, so you could hip fire this if I need to. Sixty-nine seconds will be the next time. All right, then I'm ready and waiting for your worst. Oh, there's a DX in here. There's a ah, that was not sixty-nine seconds. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Okay. So y'all for sure want me to bring the revolver with me. Good choice. Good choice. One of you wants me to bring the sniper rifle. The other wants me to bring the pistol. Yeah, that's about as good as you can get. I mean, initial thoughts were that you could go for a sniper and the pistol revolver. But if I had to be specific too, I'd say a handgun and the sniper will work. Okay. Cool. The uh, handgun that I have right now currently has armor piercing ammo on it. But, um, I will have to drop the combat rifle. So that's fine. I generally find that without the upgrades to my armor, I can't survive a long firefight anyway. So it's better for me to use equipment that I can use at a distance and on short notice. As opposed to the uh, combat rifle, which doesn't really do that much damage per shot. Get ready. Oh no, you're going to do it again, aren't you? I'm ready and waiting. I wonder if I should bring the stun gun with me. If I'm just going to be investing points into doing knockdowns or takedowns, I guess there's no point in using the stun gun. Ready with one hand? Really? You want me to use only one hand? Am I gonna do some- ah, ah, ah. Oh, I failed that one. I failed that one hard. Should I bring a shotgun with me? Round two with both hands, huh? Okay, here we go, here we go. Do your worst. Do your- ah, Oh, shit! Oh, you got me in the head with the freaking slippers. With the cancellas, or whatever, how to, however, however you pronounce that. Alright, so... Carry the sniper, the uh, silent sniper rifle with me. Hey, Vim boy. Thank you for the head pats. How are you doing tonight? Happy Friday. Vim boy, before I go on my trip to Hong Kong in game, we're determining what kind of guns I should bring with me. What do you think I should bring? The choices are sniper rifle, silent sniper rifle, revolver, armor piercing pistol, stun gun, tranquilizer rifle, a double barrel shotgun, combat rifle, or a rocket launcher or the peps gun the peps gun is a um it's a uh, energy weapon that fires this huge blast of energy across a room basically energy gun sounds pretty fun i'll need to make room then in order to bring the energy gun energy rifle with me let me drop the stun gun stuff Oh, are those darts? Hey, trank darts. Gotta drop the 
I need to drop these rockets, though. Armor-piercing pistol is cool, too. Mm -hmm. Very true. I got a nice uh, revolver here, and I got a nice uh, pistol over here, too. Okay. This is what the Peps rifle looks like, by the way. Check that shit out. Ain't that sexy? I'm safe for now, huh? That's good to know. Alright. Chat, what do you think about this loadout that I got going on right here? Do you think I'm good to go? Or should I drop another should I drop the shotgun? Should I drop the trank rifle? What's up? Which means you'll be throwing stuff at me again later into the stream when you get more points, huh? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Drop the trank for combat? Okay. So I will not be bringing any non-lethal weaponry again, or do I have to... Uh, Non-lethal take down people the old-fashioned way with my fists. Alright, I've dropped a Trank Rifle. Killing is faster, but you get more experience, but you get experience quicker um, by not killing them. Okay, now. Well, I guess I could always use peps on them to non lethally take down people if need be. Uh, Trank darts. Hmm. I could just take the stun gun with back. But I could just take the stun gun with me if that's really such a problem. Just in case. Looks like we got plenty of room left here. Make sure all our guns. Make sure all our weapons are armed. Okay. So we got sniper rifle ammo, the peps, two kinds of pistols, and a double barrel shotgun. And some grenades here as well. I like the fact that you could always come back here to pick up stuff later. Alright then. Let's get going, chat. Oh, yeah. That sexy directional audio working as intended, finally. Sarah, what are you guys all up to this weekend? Got one practice left, but I can get 
another one in 635 points, so I can wait on that. And I'll probably use that either for the Icarus landing system or for something else. What's up? What's up, Deathwish? What are you going to do? What's up? What's up? Not much. Probably going to vibe or work on a few things. That's cool. Oh, watch out. Watch out for what? What are you going to do? What are you doing to me? I really need to get these at some point. Probably this too while I'm at it. Ah! He threw a lot of things that time. Damn it. <laughs> EMP shielding eventually. All right. You got enough. It didn't take you very long at all, did it? Now you're safe again, but you'll be lurking, waiting to strike. Oh, I... I welcome it. Do your worst. Once have been back to the gas station. How may I be of service? Let's see if there's anything here I want to buy from you really quick. I think you got plenty of pistol and shotgun ammo, chat. Do I want a mine template? Nah. And that's only good for a shotgun. See you soon. See you soon. Is that a parrot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we are here. Let's go stop by the limb clinic again. I'm fairly sure they don't have practice kits for sale anymore. But. <sighs> Straightening room back. Will you be purchasing anything today? Do I need Sire Boost Energy? Well, maybe next time. See you then. How many do I how many of these Sire Boost bars do I even have? I got two. I only got two left? Hmm. I'm curious if I would need one. I might in the future, but I don't have that many power bars anyway. Nor do I have any stealth mechanics yet. But I will soon because... I am going through practice kits like nobody's business. Will you be purchasing anything today? Yeah, give me your Cyber Boosts. 
I've changed my mind. Thank you. Always a pleasure, sir. It's not like that really put a dent to my money anyway. Over 20,000... Whatever the fuck this is, chat. Oh my god. Look how much room it takes up, too. Shit, man. I had no idea. Damn, Jensen can sure carry a lot of stuff in his trunk, can't he? Good old Seraph building. Let's confront Seraph about the security leak chat. Of course, but you're the biggest in the city. Ah, more experience. And a Cyber Boost energy bar taken right off Pritchard's desk. And another Cyber Boost Pro energy bar. I'm gonna go ahead and hack the shit out of Pritchard's own computer. He has the highest security rating in the game, 5, but I am probably stronger than him. For sure. Wow. That was actually pretty bad, what the fuck? I <laughs> had to use all of my freaking... Granted. Wow. I had to actually use up all of my uh, programs just to hack into his computer. Oh, look at all these access codes I got. Thanks for telling me, Fra Oh my god. Thanks for telling me, Frank. It's good to know. As for the passwords, be sure to let the affected parties know. As surprised as I am to admit this, Jensen's security measures actually did work that evening. The environmental warning we all heard go off, it was a backup failsafe that he insisted I insert into the alarm coding. I'm still working on finding out how the primary alerts got suppressed, but until I have an answer, I believe it is necessary to revamp some important passwords. I take in the liberty of su suggesting a few ideas. Here they are. How cute. Mr. Pritchard, thank you for submitting your show concept and script treatment to Picus TV. We have duly reviewed your submission and regret to inform you that there is currently no interest in developing a program of such a nature. In fact, Mr. Pritchard, as this is your fifth remarkably similar show proposal in 12 months, it behooves me to be honest with you regarding your prospects with Picus TV. It is very difficult for us to imagine how a 13-episode drama dramatic series built around the nightly coding exploits of nuclear snake hacker extraordinaire would appeal to our target demographic. Our viewers are looking for action, mystery, and suspense. They want a hero who's not afraid to get physical, rather than one who skulks in the shadows and ducks for cover behind intellicams. 
to be honest, the main character seems to us somewhat underhanded um, and obsequious. I've never heard of this word before. A very popular character type is the policeman, or even better, the ex-cop who still upholds the law. This is the type of, pro of protagonist people can warm up to you and cheer for. You should give this idea a serious con consideration. Sincerely, Cecilia Pat, editor of TV. You know what's funny? There have actually been more than a couple games, or a couple movie shows and movies that have had this to have had his premise so they're wrong but it's a nice callback hey death how are you welcome back from the uh, lurking i see next praxis in 310 chat Mysterious burglary at the Jefferson Drive Police Precinct. Cable television and radio services were disrupted across Detroit city center this evening when a broadcast antenna located in the game controlled territory was shut down. Local police and Pikus News, who own and maintain the broadcast installation, are investigating the incident. I'm guessing you know I don't have enough, don't you? Uh, I may or may not be aware of this. I cannot confirm or deny that, is what I'm trying to say. Man, I wish I had a motorbike this cool. Can you imagine? Credits. Check it out! Final Fantasy 27 by Square Enix. Actually, I can't see your points. Not from here. Not from OBS. I'm just doing it by guesswork, honestly. Is this a motherboard? No, it's not a motherboard. It's, um... Looks like a graphics card, almost. Just saw Taggart and his lapdog in here. What a couple of hypocrites, especially that doctor. What a couple of hypocrites, especially that doctor. Uh, what is this room for anyway? Whose office is this? Have I been here before? Very low security rating as well. Maybe I should consider investing in uh, stealth attack on stealth. Access granted. Gray hat. What else we got here? Don't be pissed at me, D. All I meant is when I said it was that maybe, just maybe, they made a mistake. It happens all the time on those crime scene shows, and we never actually saw the DNA results. Don't you want to believe that Megan could still be alive? She was your friend too, after all. Hey, Gail, did you hear that they're thinking of cutting vacation days? What the hell? This is the kind of thing companies do when they're about to go belly up. Yeah, Lyle just told me. We work our butts off, and they start taking away our benefits. Not cool. I'm starting to get a sinking feeling about this place. You still up for happy hour? If we can get away at a decent hour? <laughs> A one for one exchange of overtime for paid vacation hours once project deadlines have been reached. One for one exchange of overtime. Uh... Hmm. 
That's did I read this correctly? Because it made it seem over here like Oh they're cutting vacation days and selling them back to you basically instead of uh, overtime. I'll have to read this stuff later. Hell yeah. We did a chat. We managed to get the second Praxis. Snooping around does have its benefits, you know? Uh, why haven't been vacations at all? Why didn't you come to me, sweetheart? If I had known how difficult it was for you to set foot near the labs, I could have done something about it. Workers' comp? Oh, this was a theme. This was sent by Athene Margulis. He's kind of reminded me of the messages I get at my meat space job. Terrorism. But yeah, um, it turns out the work the employees are getting stressed the fuck out. And who wouldn't, honestly, given the situation? So yeah, she's actually injured, it seems like. Oh. She must be having psych about she must be having some uh, regular therapy visits lols is awesome oh well thank you i like to think so <laughs> the tyranny of biology by hugh darrow so much stuff to read just like in the original what's up you're gonna hit me again aren't you I'm wise to your tricks. I, I'm wise to your tricks. I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. For all I know, you may in fact have enough. Who knows anymore? <laughs> ah! You got me in the face with your slippers. Why do you do this to me? You did in fact do. You you did you did in fact. You you in fact did. Oh, you can actually check the drawers too. I didn't know that. Research results. Oh, wait, we already I think we already read this, right? Yeah. Give me your money. Give me your credits. Gonna be collecting all the experience points. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was bad. Let me let me try it again. Let me try it again. After I hack this room, I will attempt it again. We're doing a little hacking. We are doing a we're doing a hacking. We are doing a viral and infiltration. <laughs> oh yes. I want to hear this. I can do a better one. Ah, you can do a better one by throwing that in my face, huh? I see how it is. Neuropazine and dangers and side effects. Many danger, such danger, very side effect. Wow. He didn't do that. Oh, his infiltration did that. What is everyone still doing here? What am I still doing here? I don't know, honey. What are you doing? Still doing here?
What the fuck does Pykus have against us? Ever since Tiger gave that damn speech in front of the UN, Cassan's taken every opportunity she has to slant his augmentation debate in his favor. We were the ones who were fucking attacked. We lost people. He didn't. That has got to earn us some sympathy. Get on the phone and work this, Lyle. Do what I fucking pay you to do. Oh, wow. Seraph is very unhappy. Watch out. Hey, boss. Mr. Seraph just stuck his head in. Looks like he's on the warpath. You might want to take get back here ASAP. And are we still on for the movies this Saturday night? Infiltration did that. I'm at zero. I guess I got just so used to you doing it that I real I did not realize. Do do. We are painting a picture, and it's not a very pretty picture, of what it's like to work in this building. Alright, let's try hacking this one as well. Granted. Black hat. Ten credits added, and I managed to break in here. Adam, is Mr. Seraph really shipping you off to China? Told you. What's he thinking? We're going to China, boys and girls. Got the latest figures for the last quarter. Mr. Seraph won't be happy. We're still way behind Tai Young Medical in market share. Yeah, <laughs> way behind. What else we got in this room? Anything to read? Anything to hack? No, looks like this is a pretty boring office, actually. I can't believe that you could... Huh? Can't this wait till I get home? I know, but I couldn't get out of this. You saw the news. Oh, man. Someone's family life is falling okay, apart. Goodbye. That sucks. Hands research. In a Farida's room, of course. Are there any jars I can open here? Some credits, thank you. A Sour Boost per energy pack. I'm running out of room chat. I can only break, get so much. Hey, Fly Girl. I'm serious about hitting J Tree next month. Think about Thanksgiving in the desert. Hanging out after we nailed the fortress. Natural selection, natural selection, baby. You bring the glow sticks this time. You in? I think we've already been here. We already invade the technology lab. I think we can go up the stairs to the next level, right? Yeah, we could visit the next level. I think we already visited most of these places. A pocket secretary and more ch credit chips. You know, Denny, for a lawyer, you're a pretty cool dude. Check. Thanks for checking the POs. Would have done it myself, but Sarah's bitch has had my number for way too long. If she caught me with him, I have been toast. You know she's got Casey implants, don't you? Anyway, from what you told me, I'm sure Mika pines behind these steps. She's been purchasing. Types out the POs before Margolo signs them. It'd be so easy for her to change the figs after. She's OOTO till Thursday. Out of the office, so I gotta get into your office. So I just gotta get into her office at four before then. Before then. Snake gave me the code of 27 next door to hers. 4145. I think I'll leg myself in there and using the air ducts to cross into her office. Don't worry, I won't see if anything goes wrong. <laughs> oh, thanks, buddy. Thanks for nothing. Didn't I already read this? Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, we can't. Let's. I'm calling Jen. He's still on medical leave. Markova gave him a clear bill of health last week. And how much pressure was she under, huh? Yeah. Reading all this stuff makes you really start to distrust Seraph, which I think is the intent. But also really good, does a good job of painting a picture of this corporation as still a mega corporation at the end of the day. Even if they're your boss, and even if they were the victim of this crime earlier in the game. Sometimes... Art really does reflect Access fiction, granted. or reflect reality, oh, maybe a little too much. Project Basilisk? What's this? Cal, I need you to head over to the temp lab for a few days and take the lead on Basilisk. That damn implant shouldn't be causing macular degeneration this late in the game. Rossi can't explain it, and if O'Neill gets, gets wind, he'll cancel the contract. Damn, I miss Sevchenko. Cal, your wife's an opera fan, right? My friend, Pikus, just sent over two tickets to Il Metamorphoso, and they ain't gonna use them. You want? What else we got here? Another Sire Boost bar. More credit chips to steal or, you know, to reappropriate for uh, my use. We do not steal, chat. We, coll we collect, uh, forcibly collect donations, which will be used for the greater good. Sometimes I think I should really listen to myself. Everyone's just stealing, no pause. No wonder this company is going under chat. For real, for real. For real, for real, for real. Can't pick up the vending machines in here. Can I enter the woman's bathroom, though? The answer appears to be yes, but I wonder if anyone's going to get mad at me if I do so. Actually, this is the woman's bathroom. The other one is the men's bathroom. You can tell because there's a urinal here. Look at those prices. The hell do they take us for? Okay, 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 okay. My sister wants me to visit the hospital and see what we've done. Can you believe that? It's as if Seraph Industries is responsible for someone rejecting their augments. Well, you know, it's debatable. Unfortunately, in Meat Space, we have quite a few healthcare mega corporations who have done fuck all to help people that had augments that were rejected. Ah, whiskey. Don't mind if I do. Gain an additional 25 health points up to a maximum of 200. Tango Foxtrot Tasty Whiskey is a real man's bourbon whiskey. Guaranteed to get your courage pumping and your heart racing faster than the sound of approaching infantry will. Warning, alcoholic beverages will imbue the drinker with a small increase in damage resistance. Each additional beverage consumed will increase the effect. Adverse effects will include blurred vision. Woo! 
Oh shit. <laughs> uh. Oh shit. I feel oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be sick. Woo! Alright, let's go upstairs. Shit face like this chat. Uh, Night City. Check it out, it's Will Taggart. That cocksucker. And his bodyguards, presumably. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, I say this. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am devastated by recent events. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident six months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. Ah, this guy's an asshole. <coughs> do I dare confront him now or do I stay cool despite him being a dick? You know what, Phil? I've had a long day. Dealing with gangbangers, fighting fucking terrorists and PMCs and shit. But I do have a reputation to uphold. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart. But it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Not just yet. You got a lot of balls coming here. After your followers attacked our plant, what makes you think you'd be welcome? They were not my followers, Mr. Jensen. The Humanity Front is a peaceful organization. Radicals have no place in it. Right. Do you know why I formed this organization? Because I saw a technology about to run rampant. You yourself seem to be living proof of it. I'd be dead without these enhancements. I understand that. I also understand that on an individual level, these issues can be complicated. But we must look beyond our personal interests if we are to see mankind survive the next century. We'll survive, all right. With or without your condolences. I'm glad we had a chance to talk, Mr. Jensen. Meeting you has been very informative. You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval. He kind of looks like Tony no Stark. No need to play ignorant, Star Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me or, that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Uh, Taggart. Tony Stark's dad. You're an dad. activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours a man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented yet once he was too much power can make you do terrible things mr jensen i suggest you think long and hard on that i don't think i actually talked to this guy in my previous playthroughs i probably didn't realize you could i'd like to hear more about your friend dr sandoval what exactly did he do nothing was he injured in the gulf he went on a rampage in a shopping mall in Holy Moscow, shit. hoping to be gunned down by the police rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? Well, they this don't talk about weird. it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? 
neuropathy independency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Tiger talked him down. Hmm, interesting. I am sure you are very busy, Mr. Jensen, as are Mr. Tiger and I. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Real shame what happened at your factory tonight. My condolences. Can you believe that this has still been one full evening of shit? <laughs> oh man, it doesn't feel like that. We've been streaming this for a little while. Athena, you've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age, Adam. No, but I know nothing gets by you. If Sarif had done something that could compromise us. Mr. Sarif has only the best interests of this company in mind, Adam. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? I've been here since the beginning. I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important. And he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, Sus. you shouldn't have. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. It's very sus. You better get in there, Adam. David's been waiting. Very, very sus. Is there anything else to explore in David's room? Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? I <laughs> what? Oh my Pritchard god. Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Beta. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I got to admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. So he's aggressive, excitable, and envious. Has a tendency to shift blame onto others, but will back down, back down rapidly if resistance is felt. Is not afraid to use his authority to get his way and doesn't like to be defied. Will sometimes try to change the subject in order to win an argument. Adam, are we done here? No, we're not done here, Seraph. I need to figure out which one of these two. Oh, we need to refocus because he's trying to change the subject. I'm trying to think of how I would deal I with this in real life. Me. I want to catch these guys What's as up, badly Death? as you do. I know but you're coming in. is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. But you can't expect me to tell you every detail of this company's operations every single day. <laughs> We're at war here, and it's your job to protect us from enemies who try to take us down. You should have found that loophole without my having to tell you about it. You know... Frank wanted me to hire experts, an outside security firm to protect us, but you convinced me you could do it. Are you saying you were wrong? He does have a problem with just shifting blame, doesn't he? That's really annoying.
Why do you have your hands up? Because I'm expecting you to Adam, throw stuff at my face. Are we done here? That's why. And I'm trying to also do that while, um, while also figuring out what's to answer. So, I guess we understand each other now. Boss, I think we're getting sidetracked here. If you want me to win this war for you, I need to know how badly we've been compromised. I need to know what was in that data stream, in case our enemies accessed it. I see. I suppose they might have tried to do that. Look, I'm not going to share every single detail of this data with you. As CEO of this company, there are things I can't release, even to you, Frank, or Athena. I consider us all a team here, but we each have our own roles to fill. I decide who gets trusted with what, and in this case, you're just going to have to do your job without knowing all the facts. Megan said you could roll with the punches. Proof she was right. Oh my god. Alpha. That's starting to... That was starting to piss me off, but thankfully we can use influence. I may or may not have enough. <laughs> I wonder if he's an alpha or a beta. Omegas are susceptible to pressure, but alphas are quick to rebel against it. Is not afraid to use his authority to get his way and doesn't like to be defied, so that's probably an alpha trait. Then again, I feel like betas are the ones that... Betas are the ones that tend to use their authority to get what they want. Oh, I'm always ready. I'm just trying to figure out if the answer is to do appease or charm. Shit, I don't know. He is aggressive, excitable, and envious. You're waiting for me to drop my guard, aren't you? Oh, I see how it is. Well, unfortunately, I am 100%. You'll need to wait until like, I'm in combat or something. Or if through a cutscene or something. <laughs> of course, I'm just saying that now. It could change. I really wish I had Bill Taggart in here. Maybe he could help me figure out how to win over David Seraph. Boss, I like working here. The things you stand Let's for see if the charming you works. people, all of it strikes a chord with me. I want to be a part of it to help you make this company great, but you're backing me into a corner. I'm gonna have to quit. Adam, 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 wait. You can't leave us. Oh, we shit. Need you. God damn it. Now more than ever. You got me. That was pretty damn All good, right. though. 
Look, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people. Oh my god. Potential new recruits. Like I can't believe it was charm after you all. What? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Yeah, this is way different. I have never gotten this part to the game, honestly. Silver Tongue, getting things done, a thousand. Wow. I'm actually pretty close to my next Praxis already. So now, we're gonna go check our file, or check our computer, and see what dirt they dug up on me as my, as an ex-SWAT member, uh, SWAT, uh, SWAT, uh, no, 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 no. an ex-SWAT person. You got into my brain? Are you... What else do you see in my brain? Congratulations, was it worth it? Alright. I need to go ahead and choose my... What next thing am I going to get? Should I get cloaking? Should I get... Uh, better hacking? Should I... Smart vision? Or maybe I should buy the ability to not die from freaking falling. Actually, this is probably even important, huh? Aw, thank you for the head pat. You can use the head pat emoji, uh, Death Wish. We have many head pat emojis. And more will be coming soon because all those subs all those uh, subscriber points open up a lo <laughs> open up a lot more emojis for me. I didn't think that would happen, but it did. Uh, thank you for the head pats. So me blowing you got more got more slots. Yes it did. Yes it did. We can use the cloak system to get around people and or as a oh shit maneuver if something goes wrong. Which would be very helpful. Alternatively, I could simply buy more bars. I could also get more cloaking armor, or more dermal armor, so I don't get killed by EMP with EMP later in the game. There's probably a way around that too, though. Choices, choices, choices. I guess I don't need to buy it right now. Hey, look, a Roomba. Roomba. Alright. Here we go. I had a friend at the Gene View Labs run a test off the records like you asked. 
Does your subject know that neither of his parents are his birth parents? That surprised me. The mother was a ster was sterile, according to those old medical records I dug up. But his dad carries no common phenotypes either. Apparently, Adam Jensen was born in 93, chap. Wow. Brent, it wasn't easy, but I finally backtraced some of Margie and Arthur Jensen's past. Through their medical files, Arthur Jensen had enough connections through his old Desert Storm buddies turned security consultants to have certain records pulled, which is why the family is a ghost, but he couldn't hide Margie's records. For a period of eight years, Arthur relied on the insurance policy of his then employer, White Helix Labs, to pay for his wife's medication. She was on antidepressants since 14 and needed regular prescriptions. When White Helix Labs burned down, all its files and employment records were lost and the Jensen stayed invisible mostly. Here's the thing. One minute Adam didn't exist, doesn't exist and the next Jensen's have themselves a bouncing and healthy five-year-old. So that's when, that's when they pulled their vanishing act. So on a hunch I sniff around some more and sure enough the Jensen's had tried adopting kids from several Michigan agencies. But Margie was deemed unfit as a parent. Next thing you know, they have Adam. There's no real trail seeing how he was placed in their hands. The plot thickens. Mr. Seraph, Lulz, are you scared of when I don't talk a lot and then suddenly appear? Sometimes I am. Mr. Seraph, I found Adam Jensen's psych evaluation following that SWAT incident at the augment with the augmented team. I managed to sneak a look at the folder, but I couldn't copy it. At least not yet. I'll be honest with you, the psych eval doesn't paint a pretty picture. It mentions the problems with authority figures, a disregard for the chain of command, anger management issues, and potential PTSD. Here's the thing. When you hired me, you said you wanted me to read between the lines, so here it is. The evaluation reads like fiction. I'm thinking a pissed off superior wanted Jensen off the force and had the evaluation worded to read just like, like just cause. But most of the rank and file I spoke to respected and liked Jensen. They thought he was a real straight shooter even though the SWAT incident soured his reputation a little. Still even my source still even my source liked him enough to want to keep his psych eval burned. Buried, not burned. Hmm. Well there you go. So his parents are not his real parents. He was actually adopted, but um, it turns out that he was totally justified in, you know, pain killers. We're at maximum health now, chat. Feels good, man. Athena tells me you spoke to Seraph. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Seraph spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> oh, that happened. All right. So we confronted him successfully. And now we need to talk with him about Barrett. Hey, boss. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing, which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? 
I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Here we go. Off we are to China, finally. Really hope that I'm good with the equipment I have on me because we are not going back to our apartment for a while, chap. And I do mean a while. A while, while. A very while, while, unfortunately. Frank Pritchard is still not back in his office. Hmm. Fair enough. Some mega expansion still on hold. But it suggests to me that we may be finally seeing some action in the ongoing debate over human enhancement technology. Why else would some of the world's foremost experts in augmentation sciences be meeting with delegates in secret? We are not going to go there just yet. Let's go ahead and check the cubby hole for extra supplies before we head out. For example, ammunition count. Which one of these things actually... This one, right, can needs ammo, can do, can fit ammo capacity. This one cannot. This one can also fit ammo capacity. So what I need to do is, I need to make room really quick. <sighs> Revolver ammo. We're gonna put in the revolver though. Yeah, grab 
Don't ask me how a revolver is able to carry so many bullets, so many more rounds, but that's apparently a thing, I guess. All right. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get going. Be afraid? Do you want me to be afraid? You think I'm afraid of you? Hmm? You would be right. I am very afraid of you. That's why I'm smiling like I am. I totally do not get a burst of dopamine every time you throw shit in my face. Totally. Get this, boss. William Taggart was here. Might still be here. I guess he met with Mr. Seraph about something. Surprised I didn't hear the discussion all the way down here. Hey, Mr. J. I heard you're going off to China. What's up with that? You were just attacked by terrorists. Word, she goes, bruh. Considering I threw 20 million stuff at you, I would say no, you would just hug me. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'm rather hug deprived in the re in meat space world, so I try to do it as often as I can in the non meat world. Wait a minute, was this always down here? Exit parking, street level. Oh, okay. Hi, Adam. Um, look, I don't want to sound like a conspiracy nut job, but uh, is it true you found a secret government internment facility right here in Detroit? Uh, no, totally not. Don't know where you heard it from. Buddy old pal. I like that you could actually talk to people and they would ask you questions about stuff. As opposed to just talking out their ass about God knows what. Hey, Verita. Now, I do know we get the chance to convince her to do hey, stuff Jackson. too. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hengsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterwards? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Man, I love VTOLs. I love VTOL aircraft. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Ow. I've been bonked. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. Check that out. The address you got off that mark, Hengsha Court Gardens. It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. No bonk, sad. Yeah, I don't have a bonky much yet. Hung Hua Hotel. Check 
Check this out. The sky was the color of television, tuned to a dead channel. This game doesn't take place that far, that far into the future, and already has super mega structures like this. Can you imagine? Investigate the penthouse chat. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. As you can see, we will not be going back to Detroit anytime soon. We're gonna be stuck here for a while. But first, let's visit the limb clinic. Have you seen Ying lately? Not since last week. I'm starting to get worried. She missed three days of work already. You don't think Chan? For Ning's sake? I hope not. May is worried, though. Speaking of May. Is she still downstairs arguing with Acker? Where else would she be? That girl is seriously going to get herself into trouble one of these days. If that were the case, she'd already be in trouble. Between you and me, I'm starting to think Chan's afraid of her. Man, I'm pretty sure prostitution would be illegal and is illegal in current day China. But then again, when has that ever stopped anyone? Free augmentation. Tang Yong Medical announces new cash stimulus. Zhao Yun Ru. All right. Oh, Ma, don't tell me I left my purse in there with May. I told you, I am not getting augment. Not for for this. Our customers would pay much for the services of an augmented girl. You can make a lot of money. They tell customers to get themselves augmented, and they can go fuck themselves! I'm sure some already have. May. No! End of talking! It's too dangerous! I'm not changing myself for someone else's pleasure! This isn't the end of the discussion. You'll get the surgery done if you want to keep working. Think about that. Wow, what a cunt. What else do you expect from a pimp, honestly? <laughs> My apologies, sir. I was not aware May had a client waiting. I'm not a client, asshole. You're not a customer, are you? God damn, what she isn't there. The way you move, your attitude. And what's my attitude? Please. A soldier. Someone on business. So why are you here? I heard your argument. What was that all about? They want me to get augmentations. For the customer's pleasure. It's sick. I quit before I ever let them touch me. Sounded like they don't consider it an option. They don't. I am lucky, I guess. I've been here the longest. It has advantages. But the new girls, they're not so lucky. What do you mean? They are forced to get augments. It's very yeah, bad. bad. One of the girls who work here, Ning, she has been gone for days. I fear they took her and will force her to get augmented. You seem, you seem like a good man. I am desperate. Okay. Please, can you help? I can pay you. Uh... Why do you think Ning has been kidnapped? Before. We could always refuse augmentations, but more and more girls got them, and it brings more money. Now they force us to do it. They won't even hire pure breeds like me anymore, because they're not as popular. Is Ning one of the pure breeds? Yes. Oh, well, I hope she still is. They started pushing for her to get augments. She say no, even when it gets violent. Now I fear they lose patience and will force the operation. Oh. Ning's not the first, and she, she won't, won't be the last. last. We'll see what we can do about that, honey. 
Booba, are you okay? Your model's freaking out. Oh, sorry. That's because I grabbed a beer. <laughs> I'm okay now. You saw it. Huh? <laughs> Booba. Yeah, the Booba is strong with this one. Isn't this a job for the police? The police leave Lower Hansa to Bell Tower. And Bell Tower not care what happens if criminal paid them money? They don't care about my friend or any of the other girls forced into the sex trade. Forced into the sex trade? I thought y'all chose this profession. <laughs> you keep referring to them. Who are, Who them? are they? The Hongkwa Hotel used to be independent. How are you doing, Steel? In the past, we had to deal with local police for protection. And because we ran a clean and safe business, they looked the other way. Clean and safe but business. Then, Things changed. What happened? Bell Tower become the police in Lower Hansa, and they not care to help us. So a drug lord came in with all his men and took control. Things has never been the same, and we cannot do anything about it. You know what? It's actually, I'm actually glad y'all decided to let me have, to have me take the lethal firearms with me because. Compared to aside from us, uh, compared to gangbangers, I have no qualms about killing a drug lord or two, especially the kind of people that abuse uh, cute women such as Ning here. How you doing today, Steel? Happy Friday. I just opened up a bottle of beer. It's a good night for beer. Playing some Deus Ex. I'm thinking about uh, streaming a little bit later tonight than usual. I just feel like it. I don't know why. Uh, details. Okay, I'll help your friend. Thank you. I knew I was right about you, Mr. Jensen. Jensen. Mr. Jensen, I fear this little time. You must find Ning before they leash her with augments. Leash her? Yes, they call it that. They leash their girls with ah. augments to keep them under control by supplying neuropathy. I do not know where they keep Ning. Just that it is somewhere in Dagong District. Dagong District. A specific location would help. I tell you, I do not have one. But there is a bouncer here, Chuan Li. He works with these people. He will know where Ning is. He goes to the roof to smoke often. Look for him there. You might be able to convince him to reveal the place. <laughs> Anything else you can give me? Yes. The man holding Ning. They most likely I'm gonna work beat the shit out of the triads. Here, the harvesters. If you look for some of them around, maybe you find Ning better. Got it. So we gotta go after the harvesters to deal with these gang with the uh with these um gangsters, with these people who are forcing augmentations. Just popping in before work was up late this morning, so I slept in all. Well thank you for visiting before work. I will be here for a few hours yet, I imagine. Ever since Ning went missing, May has been on the warpath. And that hell she has. Indeed she has. Let's go. Pole doll. International contest. Let's go ahead and explore the rest of this um, <laughs> nightclub a little bit further. You know me, I love my loot. I love expo I love snooping around where I don't belong. Gonna hack our way to victory as well. Get some additional experience, some additional uh, money, some additional hacking, hacking programs. Access oh, that was close. I actually almost failed that one. For a second there. Oh, Stop shit. Right there. <gasps> ah, wow. Uh, I didn't expect to do that, but <laughs> God knows what they're about to do here in the bathroom. But that was actually kind of funny that my first reaction was just to punch him in the face. <laughs> Let's 
much. He's just uh over there on the ground. Goodness knows what they are about to do, huh, chat? A smart card. Jensen, you lost or something? Didn't think it would take this long to check out one apartment. I took a detour. Tell me something, Malik. You think a smart card with a Thai Young medical logo on it will come in handy in this town? TYM, the global leader in augmentation technology? They put up almost half the cash to build this city, so maybe. Why are you asking? No reason. Just thinking ahead. <laughs> uh. You ever wonder what uh, what um, alignment the Jensen and the Jensen would be? I'm thinking around chaotic lawful, maybe chaotic uh, good, chaotic neutral. Assuming you play him like I've been playing him, of course. Exploring does have its benefits, after all. Let's stop by the roof below really quick to can do some convincing of that one dude. So he goes up here to smoke, right? Where is this bastard? Wonder if that's him over there. Looks like the kind of guy. Look at his uh, douchey haircut. Shove off before I shove you off. I'm here to see you. Uh huh. What about? Ning. Open the phone book. Plenty of them in there. Bitch, I'm gonna your peel your skin are holding off. her. I can make it worth your while if you tell me where. Worth my while? Yeah, maybe. Let's see some credits first, the tough guy, and then maybe I'll tell you where to find her. So I have to bribe him? I can't just like force him to give me my, the information? He's clearly an alpha. I gotta make sure she's okay first. She'll be a lot more valuable to me and you if she's alive and in one piece, if you know what I mean. I get it. Smart businessman you are. Okay, okay. I'll tell you. They're holding her on a small side street just off the open gutter in the Diagon district. But listen, I didn't say anything, right? Three Praxis points available. Thank you very much for your help, Sean Lee. Unfortunately, I need to go to sleep. A shotgun, huh? What else you got on you? Nothing? Hmm. All right. So we know where to find her. And I didn't need to spend any of my money to do so. Before we go any further down on this uh, rooftop, let's go ahead and visit the bottom floors chat. Hmm. Bottom floors of this building, I mean. I better have the... I should have my stun gun loaded here as well. I don't want to accidentally shoot anyone in the face now, do I? I can't believe this game actually manages to have more M ray content than Cyberpunk 2077 had on release. There's been a lot of good mods that have been coming out for 2077 lately, though. So I'm pretty sure they'll find a use for all those, you know. Um, brain dances and all that good shit. I should actually c consider logging into that game again sometime. See what the new patches have brought forward. 
Just like The Witcher and other games, it's slowly becoming the game it was meant to be. It'll take a while. But all good things do, don't they? Ooh, a Hive membership card. That should be fairly helpful. Nothing loose here? I am pretty tall. The augmented girls here are popular, but once in a while I like to try a natural. Some guys say they can't tell the difference, but, but I, I can. can. <laughs> good taste. You come to Hangzhou for a good time? Here I am. I like that you actually get to visit visit China in this game like in the original one as if it's a call like almost like a callback to the previous game. Can I pick up this booze? You can't? Sad. Badge. Alright. We've done all we can here in the uh, whorehouse. Let's go downstairs. Level 2 is blocked off by a bike and also a reinforced door. I wouldn't go upstairs if I were you. You're going at it again? Yep. And you know what that means. Yep. Edgar in a bad mood. Shame, too, because he can be sweet when he wants to. I'm always amazed by what May gets away with. Well, she's earned the right to talk back from time to time. When you've been around as long as she has, you know, she practically ran this place before Chan showed up. I wish she still did. You and me both. Could. Man, how old is she then? They'd be making it sound like she's been here for decades, almost. Hmm? Hey, yo. Bio-Z boosters? Whatever the hell that is. An e-book? Hearts of Steel? Oh, this is fiction. We do a little hacking once more. I like the designs of some of these hacking nodes. It looks interesting. All right, you know what? I'm starting to think that I really should invest in those, um, whatchamacallem, invest in those, uh, Stealth things, you know, just Access just a idea that I probably should. I'm gonna shut down that camera over there. That must be downstairs in the basement. Can hack this as well. Give me all of your stuff, game. Oh, what the shit? So fast. I don't have any stopworms. This could be bad, chat. I'll have to disconnect and we'll retry it. Worst case scenario, I do have some AUDs. I'm glad I decided to keep those around after all. You can never have too many backup plans, you know? Aha! Ooh, some pistols and some credits. Don't mind if I do. Can't you give me a little discount this time? Sorry, 
But for the service you want, you damn well better believe I'm getting my full amount of Oh, Lulz, I won't give you warning of your next attack. Thank you for the head pats. I'll be prepared for your attack. Please, enjoy your evening. Enjoy my evening. I will attempt to, but only after business. You know, business before pleasure and all that. Hey, beer. Ow, shit. Damn it. Ah, you're too good. I'm also in the, I'm also drinking a little bit, so I may be just a bit inebriated. My reaction time, which was slow to begin with, is slowing down even further. I was saying, I was saying nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Anyway, I think I'll take a sip really quick. I love these Yeti products. My model is fucked up again. One second. There we go. It's been corrected. It has corrected itself. As I knew it could. Abuse. <laughs> Who's being abused? Me? You? Both of us? Hong Hua Hotel. A fancy ass uh, scooter bike here. These really cool arts over here. Lin Hua. I can't believe we're in the dead city from Stray, except alive and not dead. You know, that's an amazing view of the city Everything I've got, real cheap. Real cheap. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Alright, so... Rotten business. Hunting the hacker. Uh, finding is being held in a storage unit near the maintenance tunnels off Shoigo, uh, Shoigo Plaza. I should try to find the unit and get inside to reach her. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. But... Shoi Gua... Where is that? Let's go to the Lin Kwan, the, uh... Let's go to the Lim Clinic first, I suppose. And purchase us some more Praxis kits. Unless she's, of course, in this storage unit, right here. Which is also a possibility. Access granted. You got another stop worm. Very good. Well, chat, she is not in here. She is definitely not in this particular building. Or this particular storage unit. There's nowhere else to go here. But I did find a reload speed upgrade. A generic upgrade. This would be fairly useful for one of these weapons. But which one? Probably the... Probably the revolver, actually. Let me drop these really quick. Let me take one of this. And do you combine this with the revolver? Thank you. Alright. So that was a bell tower. Bell tower is something in Chinese. I can only imagine that says something to the links to the tune of fuck bell tower, but in Chinese. Plot twist me? <laughs> I'm always ready for a plot twist. I'm always ready to be twisted. Buddy Les never pays to get into the hive. 
Does he know one of the bouncers? No. That cheap son of a bitch knows the secret way in through the back alley. But would he share it with the rest of them? I don't think so. Asshole. Forget <laughs> it, man. It's getting chilly out here. Finish that sick food and go back inside. Alright then. Where's the limb clinic? Can I climb over this? Oh. You can just crawl through. Oh, shit. That's a mine. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a mine at first, and I was very confused. Kind of reminds me of Kaloon, this city. Reverse of life. Don't stay here, Lawai. This city is very dangerous, especially lower. Too many groups fighting for control. I'll show you a group that's fighting for control. I wonder what Lao Wai means. To modify ocean temperature through a combination of iron seeding and geothermal management. Forgive me, Mr. Darrow, but many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation is more risk than certainty. Onwards to the limb clinic. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how to get to the Thai young life to hear more of my Sure, gorgeous. You have to take a train. But you know, you can't get into the building without an access card. Oh, really? This is Eliza Cassell. I just graduated from university and I want to... Good thing I have an X card then. I think you're better off sending an email. It's a high security compound, sweetheart. Oh, okay. High security, my dick. You're pretty. If you don't get a job, I can hook you up. My friend works at the brothel in Kwai Gun District. Uh, uh, to deny allegations of involvement... No, thanks. I have to go. About the augmentation. <laughs> Good girl. We enter. That's really sad. One moment. Uh, you are not a harvester. We have had the occasional problem with them stealing from limb clinics. No, I am not a harvester. Lim International welcomes you. You are preferred client? Select what you want from computer. Indeed I am, lady. A harvester. General augmentations. Only costs 5,000 and I have 22,000 credits. Hell yeah. You're very welcome, sir. 5,000 each. <laughs> oh my god. Glorious. Alright, chat. I got five practice kits. I can just buy the shit out of everything now. Cloaking system, an Icarus landing system, some dermal armor so I don't fucking die. Hmm, don't really need that though. I tend to try and get everything, typically. And I don't usually need recoil compensation because it's really a problem. If you're careful and time your shots, it won't be an issue. This requires only one practice. I could also use a cloaking system to get around things undetected. If I'm going to be seriously fighting more, I'll definitely need dermal armor at some point in the game. Two, three, four. Or I can get this, fall for any injury without height. And I can use that to get around people, which would be very useful. Since I'm still playing a very sneaky mode of in this game, this is probably the best. And also, I have a bad tendency to kill myself. But first, let's go ahead and save ourselves. In case I have a... In case I have regrets. Awesome. Now then, for the last three kits, 
I can deal without cloaking for a little bit longer. I'm tempted to buy this, honestly. Unlock the inventory's full size. But we could probably go a little bit longer without that because it only takes one Prex kit. My next Prex is in 3,885, which is about one mission. This one takes two. Upgrade car. Oh, this three car is four? Damn. Alright, this is going to probably take a while. Don't need that. Don't need to kill people with that. I don't need that much running. It's getting increasingly difficult to hack things in this game. So if I get these... I'll be able to pretty much hack everything in the game. I'll just need to bank on making enough Praxis to be able to get the EMP shielding later, I suppose. But since I'll be able to hack everything more efficiently, it should be in no big deal. Theoretically, anyway. You never know. Okay. Now then. Such great search, such great security, and they just let me walk in, no problem. But what could be found here? What grim horrors await us within a hospital surgery ward? Nothing special, it seems like. Not right now, anyway. Surgery room is, of course, completely locked. So I can't even access that. The loss of this attack is also not going to be warned. But by telling me about attack, aren't you basically already warning me? Now nah, I get what you mean. <laughs> Do your worst. Do your worst. Jiu Shung Chang District. Jiu Shi Chang District. I could have just turned something. Ah, oh, that's true. Mm, solo Toto. Where do I need to go again? Ning is being held in a storage unit near the. Ow! Fuck the fuck. Ah! Shit! Ow! Ah! You got me. Are we keeping score? He go to Plaza. Alright, Shugo Plaza. Where can I find a Shugo Plaza? You took me, you threw me to throw land. Meanie. Meanie. Gar Alice Garden Pots. Limb Clinic. A trash can. Improve yourself at Taeyong Medical. We're going to be rolling over to Taeyong Medical later in the game. Especially since I pretty much more all, all but more or less ro well, more or less um, maxed out my hacking skills. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass later. In in a slummy hotel? Well, that sucks. Are we in the... Ah, here we go. Shugu Plaza. So, she is somewhere around here. Oh, my God. Well, this is a scummy... I have a scum and villainy. 
full of homeless people. So she's around here, huh? Uh, there's a bunch of chairs and tables, but I don't see any storage closets. Makes me curious. This radio is playing some Deus Ex music. The original Deus Ex music. Six to nine to zero, all my attacks has hit you at least once. Indeed they have. I think there's only been a couple where you might have missed a few, but that's because you told me in advance. Shigu Plaza. So I'm guessing it must be around here somewhere. Assuming she's still alive, of course. I read his collection, right? This is the Shigu Plaza. Uh, Shigu... Or is it... Maybe this is Shigu Plaza. Is being held in a storage area near the maintenance tunnels off Shugri Plaza. Okay. In a storage unit near the... So is it one of these then? Or is Shugri Plaza up here? It says here this is the Daigong district. Shui Go Plaza. Oh, so she's in one of these. I see. We'll need to hack all of them. Good thing I got all those skills in making my hacking detection next to nothing. Oh, shit. Got you. She is not in here, I bet. Ah, what's this? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. A combat rifle. Gonna hack this one, too. I love how, even though I've pretty much maxed out my hacking skills, I still get screwed Access over. Granted. Because it's still RNG at the end of the day. Shotgun ammo. Revolver ammo. Thank you very much. I needed those. Okay. Let's do it. Access granted. What's in here? Some credits, some pistols, and a antivirus and a uh, antivirus. Nothing by in here. Nothing of note over here. What about over here then? Oh, ho ho, you could actually destroy those. Who would have thought, right? Fragile, my ass. Combat rifle. It's a good thing there are no police down here. None of them notice I'm just hacking the shit out of all these data rooms. Out of all these uh, storage closets for absolutely no reason. The security is so bad on this one that I could just kill the uh, CPU Access directly. Granted. I did not use the correct terminology at that time. I reserved the right to make shit up as we go along. An ammunition case? Typhoon ammo. Don't need that. I could probably sell that later though. 
I'll remember it. Why is your typhoon armor ammo down here anyway? Alright, attack this one as well. Ayo. Ayo, ayo. Ah, didn't fortify it in time. Guess it doesn't matter though. Access granted. Got another nuke virus. Cool. We are just making our way through these storage crates fairly easily, aren't we, chap? Alright. Another nuke virus collected. Access granted. And more experience on top of that. Got a credit chip here. And some uh drink, I guess? Don't know what that is. Crossbow arrows, don't need those. We'll get back them later if we need to get money for some reason. I've hacked all of those storage closets, but I still don't see her around. Oh, I didn't need to enter here. This is the apartment complex for the pods. This is not where we need to be. She is being kept in one of these storage closets. We'll have to exit after, er, exit back out. Back to Lower Hengsha. Uh, take another sip of my beer. This is why you shouldn't drink, kids. It does crazy shit, like, gives you spasms, like what's happening to me right now. Spazzing out. I'm going crazy, man. I'm going crazy. One second. Give me a second here to ride myself. If it doesn't ride myself, I'll need to reset VC face, but usually it's able to fix itself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will need to do a little correction. Ah, there we go. See, told you it fixed itself eventually. Anyway, let's continue. One of these storage closets has our girl chat. We will not rest until we find her. I'm a little bit concerned. So there was not she was not in any of those storage closets I visited just now, chat. Then where the hell is she? I guess there are still more places that I need to find Ning, eliminate Ning's guards. We do not I should probably save my sniper rifle ammo, actually. Let me go ahead, and I need to burn, eat through, burn some of these energy boost bars. You're in the wrong part of town, Lala. Go back. Oh, uh, it's been a while since I've seen that animation. Ooh. 
No can do, honey. I'm here to save you. But yeah. Uh, human traffickers? Fuck that, man. I'm not letting those guys stay alive. <laughs> hey, dumbass. Straight from the boss. New code for the girls, holding pen, 5377. Delete this, have to change the fucking code. Seriously, you're gonna get us in trouble. Get your shit together. We're gonna hack this for the experience. Your knight in shining armor has arrived. Access granted. What's up? What's up? Your friend May sent me. She said you were in trouble. Are you hurt? May. Thank God. Oh, she's no. cute. No, I'm fine. They didn't touch me. Not yet, anyway. You hadn't come, though. How did you find me? I asked around. I can be persuasive. I... I have to get out of here. You sure you're okay? Can you leave here on your own? Yes. I... Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I need to go. I need to get out of this city. I need to get away from that monster, Chan. Tell me, tell her. Thank you for everything. I owe her, I owe you both my life. And presumably she leaves? Okay, cool. Man, what a pigsty. Like I said, no regrets about murdering the shit out of those people. In fact, I would, that was not what I did, was not murder. It was a cleaning up of sorts. I'm gonna get rid of the evidence though. Assholes. My lust for blood has been sated for the time being. But there is still more yet. I hope the police don't ask too many questions about some harvesters dying. Something tells me though that they're not going to. This place is big. It's easy to get lost. Very easy. Hell, I might even be lost right now. Hong Hua Hotel. Missing. Where's the Hung Hua? The Hung Hua. Get it? Two for one drink night? Every night at the Hive? It's been a while since I've been to a club. I'm gonna be doing so stuff similar to that pretty soon over at Dragon Con this year, so I'm in no rush, but. You know.
The deed has done me. Ning, did you find her? I did. She's safe, but running. I think she plans on leaving the city. She always is a smart girl. I'm glad. I will contact her to make sure she is safe. As promised, here's your payment. If you want more, I have another task. Something suitable for a man of your many talents. Are you interested? My interest would depend on the task. By now, I'm sure you heard of Diamond Chan. He is evil man who feeds off the pain and misery of this city. If we are to stay in peace here, he must be taken care of. You want me to kill Chan? Yes, but you must make it look like an accident or suicide. What is it exactly you want me to do? Lower hand side is a dangerous place. I know Diamond Chan stay at an apartment near a rooftop. Knock him out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will huh. do the rest. Oh, that's cr cruel, but unusual, but excellent. Another way. There has to be another way to remove Chan from the picture without resorting to murder. There is. I have access to certain stimulants. If Chan was caught with them, he would no longer be a problem. Meaning I could plant drugs on him? Not on him. Somewhere in his apartment will be enough. He may be dead though. So knock him out, leave the drug, and come back here to me. I have a friend. He works with the police. I'll contact him and he'll make sure Chan is arrested. Hmm. I'll do it. Good. I'll give you the address of Diamond Chan's apartment. It is on one of the nearby rooftops. Lower hand side is a dangerous place. Simply knock Chan out, then drop his body into the alley below. Gravity will do the rest. But if you wish only to get Chan arrested, take these drugs. Plant them somewhere in his apartment after you've knocked him out. When you are done, return to me and I will contact my friend in the police. He will do the rest. Anything else I should know? Chan should be alone. He is too proud to have bodyguards around. But be careful. Even alone, Chan is dangerous. Do I want Mr. Jensen? Remember not to cause any wounds on Diamond Chan that make it look like murder. Any suspicion will bring us more trouble from his friends. So no tranquilizers or peps, which means strictly hand-to-hand -hand submission shouldn't be a problem. That is good, yes. Good luck, good Mr. Good luck, Jensen. Mr. Jensen. I will wait here. Death? Uh, do I want warning for an next attack or not? No, I'd rather it be a surprise, by all means. <laughs> Ash! Oh my god! Okay, that was very unexpected just now. Although pleased to learn that Ning is free, Mei believes that none of Hengsha's prostitutes will be safe until I eliminate the man who's threatening them, a drug lord named Pimp named Diamond Chan. That a surprise. Yep, it certainly was. <laughs> I should have known you were going to do it immediately, as soon as I said so. He should be in his apartment in the Yangming Road on the Yangzhou district. Okay, let's deal with him now. Deal with him a second time, I should say. Going to deal with a certain Chan, a diamond Chan. He's going to be spitting diamonds when I'm done with him. That did not make any sense. I don't know why I said that. As it turns out, I say many things which are alien even to my, even to me. So I need to go to where now? I need to go to a par apartment above Yangming Road in the Yozao district. Okay. Uh, I totally can remember that. Kwai Gan district right now, it says here. Lucky Dot. Versalife ads. Ads for drinks. That's probably a PMC up there. It might even be Bell Tower. Alice Garden Pods, Kwai Gan. Kwai Gan. <laughs> Kwai Gan. <laughs> All these eateries that I cannot eat at. Reminds me of 
Cyberpunk 2077. What else we got going on here? It'll take us a while to find this district since it's not showing up on my map. Oh, entry to use our district. Okay, okay. That wasn't as, that didn't take as long as I thought. Well, it looks like it's a completely separate locale altogether. That's how big Hengsha is. I wonder if Hengsha really was based off Hong Kong or if it's just a generic, like, super massive Chinese city. In the local they seem very advanced, huh? Huh. There's a hidden basement behind the butcher shop, and they did not bother to stop me from entering it. Looks like everything here has been smashed, though. This looks like it used to be a server farm of some kind. Also, this happened only just recently. Curious. Very weakly secured uh, case. Like, very weakly secured. Access granted. Another nuke virus. Some credit chips. Not much here, huh? And some pills. Wish there was some lore to explain what the hell happened to this room. I guess it's supposed to be subtle. Very curious. That's a cool looking bike. Hmm. These gangbangers? We're in Yuzhou, and we need to go to Yongming Road, wherever that is. This is Pandang Road. It's definitely a dark city, I'll give it that much. I wonder what these question marks are for. Don't stay here, la why? This city is very dangerous. Got a storage closet here I can hack. Increasingly. This is not the place for you. Get out of my way. I get the feeling that they are not happy Access about me granted. hacking this storage closet. Are those explosive barrels? They are. Combat rifle ammo. There are a lot of explosives in here. 500 credits. Wow. How generous. Danger flammable. Can I, like, throw these at people? Will they kill them? That's a harvester. I don't think anyone here is going to care if I take this guy out, right? Oh, these are all harvesters. If I take out one of them, it's going to take out all... It's going to alert all of them. I must steal my... I must... Hold myself back. For a time being, anyway. Young Ming Road. We are getting close, chat. Must be in one of these apartments. That's just a hobo. Nothing to worry about. It seems.
Oh man, I'm so glad I got those hacking upgrades. Check, look at this shit. Access granted. Another stop worm. Ooh, ammunition count. Okay. What shall I use it on? Chat. The sniper rifle, maybe? My revolver is actually running out of ammo already. Nineteen bullets. Sniper is a twenty-four. The pistol doesn't have much in the way of ammo capacity, I should probably upgrade that a bit. important in this one. Let's keep going further. We got a sewer level beneath us. Okay. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Hello? Are we here? Are we back?
I was planning to go on a little bit later tonight, but my computer just had another freeze while playing this while playing Deus Ex. I don't know what's causing that. Honestly, it's wish it's starting to annoy me again. I really hope it's not my graphics card, but like it didn't do that before with other games, and I'm wondering if this really is just something that's stuck with that happens to be with DSX, which is not exactly the most stable of games, or if it's a greater problem. Because haven't I been? It's been like months since I've had crashes like these. Honestly. I wonder if I was able to reset in time before Twitch decided that I was not getting back online. Yes, it is. You just came back right after another freeze, unfortunately. I'm not sure if it continued from... Ah, uh, I hate it when this happens because it cuts off the stream. So I end up having to upload two VODs instead of just one, and it splits the, like, viewership, right? Does this... Let me see if DSX is known for crashes. From 2016. I wonder. Uh, it says here in 2011 they patched it to remove the freezes, but... Because I'm hoping that it's the game that's doing that. If it's not, then something is wrong with my system again, and I don't know what it is, because I'm going to be... A, I, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to be suspicious about it actually being the graphics card. If it's really the graphics card's problem, then... I mean, this is a... New generation one, RTX 3080, relatively new, and I didn't buy it secondhand this time. And at first I thought it was just the processors faulting, but it's obviously not that, right? I guess I gotta check really quick to see what was that fro that broke. Uh, services here. Is it services or is it? Oh, well, that's just great. <laughs> 